Schizophrenia and bipolar disorder are serious mental illnesses that affect about 65 million people worldwide. These illnesses usually emerge in early adulthood, but by the time they're diagnosed, there's often already a lot of disability. We need to get better at identifying risk for these mental illnesses earlier in life so we can reduce this disability or even prevent the illnesses altogether. Our current approach to identifying people at risk of psychosis, called the clinical high-risk approach, captures just 4 to 14% of all cases, even at the best clinical centres, which means that we miss 86 to 96% of people who will develop psychotic illnesses, like schizophrenia. This study asked, what if we investigated earlier in life and, instead of focusing on people who already have psychotic symptoms, we looked in Child and Adolescent Mental Health Services, or CAMS. Young people come to CAMS for all sorts of problems, but very few have schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. But, what if we could follow all the young people who attended CAMS into adulthood? Would many cases of schizophrenia or bipolar disorder occur in these young people as they grow older? This study followed all 60,000 people born in Finland in 1987 from birth to age 28. The researchers found that 15% of all adolescents who had attended outpatient CAMS and 37% of all adolescents who had spent time in a CAMS inpatient unit were diagnosed with psychosis or bipolar disorder by the time they were 28 years old. What's more, more than half of all cases of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder occurred in people who had, at some point in childhood, attended CAMS. This means there's a huge, untapped potential for prediction of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder within CAMS. And these findings suggest that if we want to predict and prevent these serious mental illnesses, we should focus in on CAMS.